guys, welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we are here with another unboxing. All right, so this box comes to us from Dreamer Designs. You heard right. When they opened up on the 13th, where I do appreciate them giving me a canvas to review, I did my review, all said and done. I decided I want the full experience. I want to go check out what they have. I want to go look to see what their site is like. And I have to say, the site's not too bad. They don't have a whole lot of designs right now. I think they have about 20. But one of the things about the site that I do like is, I don't know if you've noticed, I don't, th I don't think it does it on cell phones and stuff like that. I think you have to be on a computer. But when you hover over the images on their sites, it gives you the view of what the canvas is going to look like without the drills on it. I absolutely love that feature. It's like Peggy by a new frog. So I do love the fact that they did that to their website. Um, so I went around on their website looking because there was one design that I was after for my son. My son is obsessed with Grumpy Cat. So yes, you guys have seen probably like a million unboxings with the Grumpy Cat, but my son just placed top eight in our region for his spelling bee. And I was like, you know, I knew he was going to do good. So I ordered it anyways. But I wanted to unbox this to show you guys essentially what it was like. And this, if you remember from my Valentine's Day whipping chat, I did the, you know, let's see which one gets here first between Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs. They actually both got here in six days. So that was pretty good. And it's just apparently been sitting over there since the other day. So we're going to unbox this one and take a look. Now, this is one of the smaller ones as well. Uh, when they sent me the canvas, which was the San Juan's Canyon, when they sent me that canvas, I uh, it was a bigger one. I didn't have any choice in what size or anything. Um, I'm not sure how size affects their diamond paintings. But I wanted to try one of the smaller ones because I have a big one. Try a small one, right? Right. All right, so of course you open the box and you have your invoice. You don't care about that. And then there's some paper. And of course I opened it upside down because yes, my address is on the other side. I don't want you to see it. You don't need to know where I live. Why do you want to know where I live? Believe me, you don't want to be here, okay? It's snowing right now. Either way, paper for security. And there it is, my little tiny Dreamer Designs box. Now, funny thing is my other box is still sitting over here chilling. So these are the two sizes that they have. They have the 16 by 20 and the 30 by 40. In my, uh, which is hilarious because no one said anything except for like one person. But in my unboxing, I said 16 by 20 and 50 by 40, which is the same thing. Yeah. I told you I ain't good with math, y'all. <laughs> Don't judge me. Anyways, so this is their 50 by 40 box, which is pretty decent size. And then this is the tiny little 30 by 40 box, which, you know, is cute and adorable. So we're going to go ahead and get into that one. We're going to put this other one away. Uh, we will be starting to work on that one next week because Mother Owl is almost done. But let's get into this one and take a look. And for those of you who don't know, that's what the image looks like. Little grumpy cat. He's so grumpy. Now, I seen the woman, Kaylin, uh, the lady that is the face of the Dreamer Designs place. I seen her, uh, she has a finished one that she has framed. She did like a framing video and she has it framed behind her on the little desk or whatever the little room is that she sits in when she does her uh, live feed. And my son saw it and absolutely fell in love with this. So I had to get it for him. So of course we remember the box. It's purple, has their logo and stuff on it. Premium diamond canvas kit, all the, you know, fun stuff on there. If you want to, yeah. Um, it also has the handle, which comes in handy for those of you who like to, you know, take your diamond place, diamond paintings places. Me personally, I don't leave the house. So yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into this because essentially we already know how this is packaged and all that stuff, but we'll go through it for those of you who, you know, were cringing because I did get a lot of comments about, you know, the price and, you know, just a bunch of other stuff. Nobody. Yeah. 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 So one of the things I noticed, and we're going to try to get into this as we talk, because, yeah, one of the things I noticed is they give you the stuff. It's in a bag, so, you know, extra protection. Got to wrap it up. 
So you have your canvas, your tool kit, and your bag of drills. All right, pl plastic, y'all don't care about that. All right, so one of the things I noticed is, one, I got another cool set of tweezers. Uh, thank you for that one. I also have another two drill pins, another two purple squishies, two more plates of wax, a three placer, and a six placer. So whoever's more gangsta, I guess, gets the six placer, and then whoever is just a novice at diamond painting gets the three placer, I guess. I don't know. We don't, we're not going to judge. Either way, um, we're going we're gonna to bring you down into the business a little bit here. All right. Hey, you good? You good? Yeah, you're good. All right. One of the things I noticed is you get two plates of wax, two pens, two grippies, one set of tweezers, one boat. We were talking about this in like a live or something. Why don't you get two boats? Because if I'm diamond painting with someone, what if we work on, want to work on two different colors? Why do we only get one boat? Hey, hey, Dreamer Designs. Hey, Dreamer Designs. Can we, can we possibly get another boat in there? Can, can we get one more boat? Because I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, if I want to diamond paint with my daughter, why does she have to use the same color as me? Why can't she use a different color? Asking for a friend. Either way, so we know what the toolkit looks like. We are going to count those baggies. We're going to count them in a minute. We're going to see how many colors we have first. Um, we have our bag of drills, which, you know, super colorful and cute and all that fun stuff. And we know that they bag their stuff all together. It has their logo on it. It says Grumpy Cat Van Gogh Edition. We're gonna open this up. So if you don't like the sound of the plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. All right, so there's no loose drills in this kit. So that's, that's a plus. That's better than the first time already. And again, they number it one to 10, 10, 10 maybe? Okay, what happened here? Oh, okay, I see what they did. All right, so usually it's like one to 10, but I guess they're because there's some doubles in here. You have one, one, two, two, three, four, five. Ooh, look at that, five, 796, holy moly. And they do have some pretty sparkly drills. I will give them that, they are nice and sparkly. What was that? Okay, I think I'm seeing things, either way. And then seven and eight. And then we have nine. The dreaded 310. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18 colors in Grumpy Cat. All right. So now what I'm going to do, because I've been wondering this. I've been want, I, want, I want the full customer experience. So I bought one. And I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably buy one more because there's one more that I've seen on the site that I really liked. Um, I'm going to hopefully wait. By the time I get to wanting to buy that other one, I'm hoping that somebody would buy it and have it completed because I kind of want to see what it looks like because, yeah, we're just, yeah. So let's count these baggies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'm not sure if all their designs are 25 colors or less. But I only have 18 colors and I have 25 baggies. That's good in my book because what if I broke one of those baggies? What if I stab it with the tweezers? Because if you didn't notice in the bag, the little thing's broken on the tweezers. That kind of sucks. Like, all right, Dreamer Designs, we, we got we, we to gotta work on that. We, we got to work on that because now that it's broken, I'm going to have to put some tape on it or something so I don't stab myself. Have you seen the picture with Crafting with Christy? Did you see how she stabbed herself in the foot? Do you want that for me? We're not going to ask that. Either way. So, yeah, that plastic piece is broken, so that kind of bums me out. But all the colors are, you know, nice and sparkly and all that fun jazz. So let's get all that stuff out the way. Let's open this canvas. And again, we have the rubber band, the dreaded rubber band. We're just going to get rid of that because we don't, we don't need no rubber band. When I'm putting braids in my hair or something. Pew. All right. So then we have our CVS receipt with the 12 different languages. Again, you guys don't care about that. I speak like three languages. All right. So let's look at this canvas. Now, it's like this. So we're going to unroll them. Oh, my God. He's so cute. And, of course, you guys remember they do come on foam rollers. It's a little foam roller. Get the hell out of here. 
but oh my God, that's perfect size. All right, so the canvas itself, oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, so I have to say, I like this canvas way better than the other canvas. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because his face or what, but oh my God, he's so cute. He's so grumpy. He's such a grumpy kitty. He's just a little kitty. All right, so they do have the legend on both sides and on the smaller canvases, obviously the legend is gonna be a little bit smaller, but I don't think it's small enough to the point where it's gonna hinder you from being able to read it or anything. And I was watching uh, one of the other YouTubers and they were make like they photocopied and like made their, uh, they made the things into like stickers. And so I ordered a sticker maker. I think it was uh, My Diamond Painting Addiction and her little granddaughter, uh, Taylor. Yo, that little girl's so cute. She's so cute. She just wants to help. She's help. She's so helpful. <laughs> That's so cute. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so they do have the legend at the bottom on the left and at the top on the right. The grumpy cat is all of the grumpies. So yeah. So let's look at the, the drill fill. Because I did see a few... There was one of the ambassadors that claimed that she had four symbols that were blurry. And I went back and looked at San Juan's Canyon and I didn't see any blurry symbols. So we're gonna take and show you guys the drill field. Stop shaking. You got Parkinson? All right, so we're gonna show you guys the drill field. Is that nightmare fuel right there? That's nightmare fuel. <laughs> We're, we're gonna make that the thumbnail. <laughs> it's so cute, I can't stand it, oh my God. It's so cute. So yeah, uh, honestly, in the camera, it looks a lot better, but um, this red symbol, or it might be green, I'm not 100% sure again, colorblind people. This symbol, where in the camera, it looks really good and you can tell what it is. Looking at it, like at the aspect that I'm looking at it, uh, it does look a little hard to see and so does this with the nose the symbol inside there I'm thinking that's a percent sign I would suggest if I had a suggestion for them is to not put those two colors together because that is extremely hard to see and it either looks like an x or a percent sign which if you go over to your legend and take a look 972 is that symbol and it is in fact a percent sign but here it's like um, more of a yellow that borders it. And then on the canvas, it's more of an, I wanna say orange. It looks orange. Um, so yeah, so let's see, do they have any of those splotches of color? They have for this blue, there's a splotch and then this, which they said something about, uh, somebody was complaining about the blotches of color, not because of the color thing, because that was me. I was complaining about that because, you know, for those folks that are colorblind that still like to diamond paint, I don't feel we should have to go through all these extra steps to diamond paint. So I don't like the big splotches of color, but, you know, do your thing, boo-boo. It's your world. All right. So with that, um, this one will be a lot easier to see. The thing that's going to get me is, all right, so you have the splotch of color here. So there's there's no symbol in there, which I'm gonna just zoom you guys in. I keep kind of bring that to you. So we're gonna, you, you guys gonna get all up into his business. All right, now that you're all up into his business, let's see where we're at, like right here. So you see how there's this and there's like, I wanna say that's a U-turn sign. Is that a U-turn sign? Um, No, okay, so these are circles. Do you see how it's blurry there? but you can see it clear as day right there. It's like they were running out of ink. These look like blotches of color, right? But these are the blotches of color. So uh, they also might wanna check on their ink in their machines, which I'm pretty sure by now, like I'm pretty sure they, you know, whatever. But if you look, they're clear as day over here. But on this side, uh-uh, look at that. That looks like a six. Like, yeah, so. I'd, I'd be a little care. I, 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 you know, ask them to be a little bit careful when they're printing these, and this is just showing you a close up of uh, the symbols here. Um, again, you have the blotches of color. You have this upside down Y thing that they love. But then here, look at that. Where's the symbol? 
See, when I give you guys these reviews, I'm not trying to be mean or nasty or any type of way. These are legitimate issues for people who are have bad sight. Um, I know one of the YouTubers, my clothes smells like candles. She diamond paints. She was also an ambassador, or she also is an ambassador. But she has bad eyesight. To someone like her, this is going to mess her up because she's going to think this is a blotch of color. And where the blotch of color is a lighter shade, like, okay, again, there's a blotch of color. There's that color. To me, they look identical. To you guys, those are two different colors. Sorry, I have an extra dog over here. Killian, do you mind? Hey, Killian. Get out, get out of here. Get, go on now, get. Get out of here. Bye, Killian. Sorry. Killian's being extra today. Anyways, but these are the blotches of color, and then these are the other symbol. But to me, those look the same. I have very bad uh, problem with uh, hues, like color hues. So, yeah. So, when you get up here, those symbols tend to fade. Not very happy about that. Where I can drill this, and it should be no problem. I, I'd watch that, you know, that's, that's something that's going to cause issues later. Just like with these, using these symbols and they're nice and bright symbols. That's great, but you have to make them legible. Like this does not look like that. And that symbol is, oh, it's three dots. So when you're making these legends, you don't want to make symbols that if they get too small, are going to mush together like that, which is why a lot of companies use bold symbols like this, like the X or the slant or the half triangle or the half orange. This, I'm not even sure about this, which that is right here. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but when you smush those, those symbols down, they don't look necessarily like the ones on the legend. And then you have to go search for it on the legend. And since the legend, obviously, you guys, if you remember, the legend is not in numerical order, which uh, one of my subscribers is like, why do you care? You can just, you know, kit it up a different way. Yeah, but I actually look at my legend, so it does matter to me. But, um, yeah, like, there's just a few of those symbols that are very light or just non-existent. And that makes it a little bit more difficult to drill on the canvas if you can't see those symbols. So if I had any suggestions, I'd say work on those symbols because that makes it incredibly hard to see. And hopefully uh, this, you know, of course, won't turn out too bad. I have seen it completed. Like I said, she has it completed on her or on the dreamer design like page thing where she does her live you know uh videos where she diamond paints and then asks answers questions and su such i go i try to get to each and every one of them just in case i have a question that you know i like to bring back to you guys because you guys know i was one of the few channels that was actually like talking about them a lot and you know they would come into live and answer questions which was awesome and I would love for them to do that again. So I'm pretty sure they will be watching. So Kaylin, if you wouldn't mind, every Friday night, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Central Standard Time, I go live on my channel. Now that the company is open, if you wouldn't mind coming into my live and answering a few questions for some of my subscribers who are still on the fence about buying the canvases, please feel free to do so. If not, it's cool. I'm not, you know, there's no pressure or anything. You don't have to do your thing, boo-boo. Either way, I just thought it'd be nice now that the company's open, that people have a lot more questions. And if you're there to answer them, I won't be stuck having to message you later a thousand and one questions. So if you are up to it, if you wouldn't mind, please feel free. Come join us anytime. You don't need really an invitation. I mean, why would you? It's, it's whatever. Come in whenever you want to. Diamond Art Club does. So, you know. Just feel free to pop by. Either way. So yes, this is the grumpy cat. Let's look at the back of the canvas here. And this canvas actually... No, what? What's up with these little flakes of whatever that is? And again, the fraying. Like, I'm not sure how they tear these off. But they... Like, the other canvas did the same thing. They're like fraying or something. Um, yeah, see? Which, you know, won't matter if you frame it. But... It's still kind of, you know, whatever. And of course, the back is nice and clear. And there's no, like, weird lines or anything in it. Um, no 
bumps, except for right there. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not affecting the canvas. Overall, I'm very happy with this one. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm really hoping that the size didn't affect the fact that he did have shoulders. Like, he's a cat, so like, yeah. So yeah, so that is my review of Grumpy Cat. He is the grumpiest of kitties. Either way, that's it for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point. I don't give a crap. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. Bye.